Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel, Made to Order a la Orden. I'm Chef Z and today we're making a highly requested recipe here on my channel. We're making a tuna fish salad. You guys have been asking me to make some healthier dishes here on my channel and I'm finally keeping my promise and I'm showing you guys how to make one of my favorite dishes. Now, this is a dish that I have to give special thanks to my Aunt Angela because this recipe is actually all hers. This is a dish that I grew up watching her make time and time and time again during this time of year when we don't eat any meat on Fridays. And I hope that you guys really enjoy this recipe as much as I do. And like always, I have all the ingredients listed for you guys right here. Okay, so before we get started, I do want to talk to you guys just a little bit about the tuna that I'm using. Now, tuna fish comes in a variety of different ways, and I personally really love to use solid white albacore, but feel free to use whatever kind of tuna that you like or whatever kind of tuna that you have on hand at home. Now, with that being said, tuna also comes either in water or in oil. Now, I'm using the one that comes in water, but let's say you have the one that comes in oil, just feel free to omit the oil that's at the end of this recipe now we're going to start off by adding the red onions Oop, almost dropped that <laughs> now my red onions are finely chopped and if you guys want to see a video of how I finely chop my onions because I do have a trick for that then feel free to comment below and I'll be more than happy to set that up as like a Z tips Tuesday type of video now we're also going to add some red peppers and some green peppers and I personally like to eat with my eyes so I like to add a variety of different peppers, but feel free to use whatever you like. Now, we're also going to add some finely chopped recao, or cilantro, technically this is cilantro, and I'll go into the differences between recao, cilantro, culantro, in a separate video. All right, we're gonna add that in. And now, <laughs> we're going to add one of my favorite ingredients, which you guys can probably guess. I am obsessed with olives, but if you guys don't like olives, you guys aren't crazy about olives, then feel free to omit that. Ooh, and just as a heads up, I do chop my olives like in thirds just because it's easier to eat in the salad. Okay, so now that we've added all that together, we are going to mix that until it's well combined, and it's pretty easy. And as you guys can see, this is already coming together and so beautiful. Now, quick thing about this salad. This salad, for me at least, is all about the colors. So as much color as you can infuse into the dish, then the prettier and the tastier it will also be. Okay. So I'm pretty much done mixing that. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're actually going to season our tuna fish salad. Now, you can use whatever seasonings you like. I'm using some adobo, but let's say you have some regular seasoning salt that will also work, or some regular salt. Or one of my personal favorite is that pink Himalayan salt because it's per like it's currently having a moment and I've been testing out a few different recipes and I kind of like it, but for this we're just gonna use some adobo and again, this is to taste. And the next thing we're going to add is going to be some freshly ground oregano. Now, I'm using some freshly ground Dominican oregano because it does taste slightly different. And I'm not going to lie, it is kind of hard to find if you don't live like in a Dominican neighborhood. But if you have regular ground oregano or just like the oregano flaky kind of oregano, that will also work and it will still be just as delicious. So we're going to add that in. And then we're just going to give that a quick mix until it's well combined. Okay, <laughs> so now the next step. So okay, we've added like our onions and peppers and now we've added our seasonings. So now we're also going to create like a little vinaigrette and it's going to be really delicious, but it's going to be a little bit of a struggle for me because we're going to add the limes. And as you guys know, I have the struggle wrist which always give me some problems. But maybe, you know, maybe today I won't embarrass myself. So here we go. And like, I just like to use a line press because it just helps me out a little bit. Yeah. There we go. Now, I personally like my tuna fish salad to be a little bit on the lemony side, or I like a lot of lime, so I'll add one to two limes. But before I add the second lime, I do give it a quick taste test, taste test, <laughs> just to be sure it's good. All right, so we have half of that lime in there. I'm just gonna squeeze in 
the other half. Here we go. Ooh, this one has a lot of juice. I might actually only have to add one lime to this because that bad boy was juicy. I don't know if you guys saw that. Here we go. Second half. Yeah. It's so juicy. I wish all the limes came like this. Like I hate it when it's so dry and you pretty much have to work out just to get all those lime juices out. Okay, so now the next thing we're gonna add is some freshly ground black pepper. If you have regular black pepper, that will also work. Again, I just have this pepper mill, if I can ever get it open. <laughs> so I like fresh pepper. All right, that's the taste. I mean, if you leave it up to me, I'll add the whole thing, but that's, that's pretty good. You wanna eyeball it. And now, this next step is going to be adding the olive oil. I pretty much eyeball this, I'm not gonna lie. So what you're looking for is that you don't want your tuna fish to be super dry. So we're just gonna add enough olive oil so that it's nice and juicy and like coated, and then we're gonna taste test it at the, like right after I add it. <laughs> so here we go. All right, yeah, that's pretty good. You guys can't see this and you guys cannot smell this, but this just smells like heaven. So we're gonna give that a quick mix. And now I'm gonna take my trusty little fork and I'm gonna taste it because I wanna make sure that it's good on the lime and it doesn't need any more lime. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's actually perfect. <laughs> It is right on the money. So what we're gonna do now is, even though it's delicious and I kinda wanna eat it all, like everything right now, what we're gonna do next is, we're gonna let this chill in the refrigerator for one to two hours until it's cold and then we're gonna gobble it all up. So I'll see you guys in, I don't know, maybe 30 seconds, cause you know, TV magic, here we go. And we're back. All right, our tuna fish has been chilling in the refrigerator for about an hour, which means it's just about ready to eat. Now, you can have this tuna fish salad a variety of different ways. I love to have it like on a bed of iceberg lettuce, so you kind of create your own tuna fish lettuce wrap and it's really cool. Or if you wanna serve this up as an hors d'oeuvre, it goes really well with some saltine crackers. Now, if I'm being all the way honest and all the way real, my favorite way of having this is actually with some white rice because I just love everything with white rice. Now, if you guys have any questions on this recipe, feel free to visit my website, chefzcooks.com, or comment below and I'll be sure to get back to you. Don't forget to find me on social media and I have all my information listed for you guys right here. Until next time, I'm Chef Z, y buen provecho.